guys, so because you guys have all requested vegan dim sum so much, today I'm actually gonna be doing the tasu noodle rolls. And the noodle rolls are basically like those long, thick uh, rice noodles that usually wrap either around um, shrimp, pork, which is the tasu, or um, beef. And usually there's that sweet and soy sauce poured over um, afterwards. I ended up using jackfruit for the pork and actually this um, prepared tasu sauce that I found at the store. And originally I made a tasu recipe a while back, back when I wasn't vegan. And it has this amazing tasu marinade. So I'm gonna actually put that link uh, down below so that even if you guys don't eat meat, you can check out that marinade. I really think that you guys are going to enjoy this recipe. So um, let's head over to the kitchen and then let's get started. Alrighty guys, so I'm starting off with half a can of young jackfruit and I actually just found this product at Trader Joe's but usually they'll sell it at the Asian grocery stores. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to pull it very much like pulled pork. You see how it kind of resembles that same texture? So you just wanna do uh, that for uh, half of the can actually. I'm making double the recipe and I'm using just a paper towel to dry it off a little bit because I'm gonna be putting it into the oven 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. Not to necessarily dry it out too, too much but just enough so that more of that kind of meaty texture shows up. So afterwards, this is the tasu sauce by Lee Kum Kee, and um, I found it in the stores, and I was kind of um, curious on how it tasted like. So for a half a can of the jackfruit, you want to put in one tablespoon of this, and just really mix it all around. The sauce has a tendency to be a little bit sweet, so I like to balance it off with a little bit more flavor. So a little bit of garlic powder, and then a little bit of curry powder, which was in my original tasu recipe, which I'm going to be linking down below. The marinade for that is absolutely great. So just mix that around, put it aside for about an hour to marinate. So this is going to be the long noodles that we're going to be using. And um, usually you'll find this either in the frozen section of the Asian grocery store or in the fresh noodles section, okay? So um, I'm going to take out, it takes about six, but I'm actually going to be making uh, just a couple bit more. So I have a steamer going on medium high heat, and these guys really only take about five minutes to get to kind of a nice softer state. You don't want it too, too soft, okay? Because you want to unravel it afterwards. And I found that the easiest way to do this is in a big bowl of just cold water. You just want to dip the noodles in and then kind of slowly but gently it will start unraveling because these guys actually have some um, oil painted in between so usually they will unroll so you have to be pretty careful with them okay so squeeze out any um, excess water and then on a board um, instead of oiling it you just want to put a little bit of water on it because that will keep the rice noodles from sticking and trust me it will be a very uh, big help for you guys to do that so just put it out into um, a nice rectangle make sure that everything is nice sometimes there will be rips on it because um, I think it's just the manufacturing process and when you unravel it, but that's completely fine. So I'm taking a couple leaves of cilantro and this will be really pretty as you start wrapping it up because you'll see a little bit of the red and a little bit of the green. And after the jackfruit is done, just kind of really a small line. You don't need too, too much. Don't overfill it. And then one of these bench scrapers, either the metal one or the plastic one will go a really long way for you because this is essentially how you're going to roll it. Otherwise, you're going to have a really, really hard time. So you're gonna get it into something like this and then you just wanna cut it in half because that is the only way to make it a little bit easier to handle. And it's nice that we dipped it in water first because these guys have a tendency to really dry out. So make sure that if you are preparing a dish for a little while later, maybe like an, an hour later, just make sure to put a plastic wrap on it. So that is how these guys look. It looks just as good as um, at the dim sum store. And then this is that sweetened soy sauce that is over kind of all of your dim sum. And recipe's gonna be down below, but it's basically soy sauce, sugar, and water. Super simple. and it it makes everything just like brighter and um, the food really just tastes a lot better. So um, over the top, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit more of the cilantro and then really there you guys have it. Super, super easy. I'd say the only kind of tricky part is to kind of gently unravel those um, thicker rice noodles and really that's basically it. I think you guys will be pretty surprised at how similar the texture of the jackfruit is to the pulled pork, especially because we dehydrated it a little bit before so it's even a more meaty texture. And then remember guys, if you're looking for kind of that original tasu marinade, remember to check out my links down below to the original recipe and then maybe try it out for yourself compared to this sauce. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this dim sum special. As usual, if you want to see more recipes like this, remember to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you guys again next time. Bye.